and queen h4 check is even stronger than taking the pawn. Victor Kochnoi shows the best way to convert. And now it's clear that black has a strong attack. He is threatening mate. And so white must protect the mate and must give up the g-pawn so that white's king now has no shelter, nowhere. King e8, okay, King e8 was slightly more tenac tenacious, but nevertheless, Black's attack. Yeah, this loses immediately. Can you spot why? Yes, now I check and now it's over. The Queen will be lost or white will be mated. Okay, and King e2. Also doesn't help as the king king f3 is not possible of course due to the fork on e5 and so yeah black's attack uh, should give him a winning position. Now white has won the h pawn and uh, black has won the h pawn and should win sooner or later. So uh, Miles tried king d1 but it didn't really help. Now the knight has occupied the strong central outpost. Black is threatening mate. The check doesn't help. Now white doesn't have any checks. Queen c5 loses by force due to, of course, check and knight fork. And um, queen uh, d3 also doesn't help. Black just picks up the poor bishop and wins. Okay, and now black just continued it atta it's a his attack. King c3 yeah, loses very quickly. Now it's over, and the queen is lost. But queen king c2 is also lost. Black just keeps the initiative, keeps pressing with checks, and now, yeah, of course, knight e4 would be a terrible blunder, allowing perpetual check. The typical pattern. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Then, uh, then of course, uh, this was of course uh, stupid. <laughs> okay, King B8 was stupid. Okay, so go here and uh, make it all. But of course, Korchnoi um, saw this and protected A4 first, and went to D4 then, and which made Miles resign.